Seeing suspicious minds with me now, David. Suspicious minds. Suspicious minds. Suspicious minds. Suspicious minds, not Elvis. Suspicious minds, not Elvis. Can I move it? You can move it now, yeah. Hello. Hello. We're doing a comics round up now, actually. Yeah. We're changing focus while we're not. We're just doing a thing. But, uh, you like comics, don't you, Dan? Yeah, it gives us more to talk about. Well, that's really sugary. Is it sugar? You made it. Yeah. You made it too sugary. Yeah. Do you yeah. like sugar? I do. Not like he it. likes sugar. Don't, don't kiss me. No. I've got my own sugar in the form of iron brew. Lovely, tasty iron brew. Ah. Uh, my best way to start a day. That's a good brew. That is a good brew. You can't go wrong with Iron Brew. We are willing to endorse Iron Brew. <laughs> we'll wear like bars. A bars. You don't have to get us. Send one of your mini vans. Send your vans. Uh, we will also accept empties. Because I believe you can still trade them. No, in. I think that ended. How did that end? Yeah, there was talk of it ending anyway. Ah. David McInnes was devastated, of course, because his room was nothing but. He missed it. He, he speculated too much in the stock. Exactly. He was like Homer yeah. with the pumpkins. Yeah. Remember the pumpkins? No. What are you talking about? Homer like had a like a business with pumpkins. Is this classic Simpsons? Yeah, it's classic Simpsons. Ah, it's like a okay. pumpkin business thing. Like it, like the months pass and it's like well, like November. No. I feel like I feel like other day would appreciate yeah. it more. Yeah. People could tell the joke yeah. better, of course. I'm just. Yeah, he would appreciate it more. He's he's obsessed with Simpsons. Hi, by the way. We That's David. Another David. Your other, well, no, your dad. I, I mean, I'm dad he is there. he is David because he is our dad. Yeah. Right, we're ra- we're pre. This is enough preamble. Pre-ramble. The pre- pre-ramble. The pre- the pre- the comics. The preamble is that's enough. Just small talk. We secretly hate each other. Mm-hmm. We just mm-hmm. do it for mm-hmm. the business. Yeah, um, those views. Do you want to go first? I would go first. As yes, we're going to round up the comics that we bought this week or in general. I bought last bit of buying this week. Or mm-hmm. Yeah, I bought some. You bought, you said, I've got a couple other things. He doesn't even know the comics he bought. I've, got, an amateur. I've got a couple other things I can talk about as well. Okay. Actually. I don't have anything with me, of course, because we just decided to do this on the so phone. You can't even show the art off. No, I can draw it. Draw I can it. Draw out the comics. We well, did a good work in the title card. I did, didn't yeah. I? That's my work. If you need any title card artists out there, probably don't hire me. Probably. Because it's not good. So, what would you buy? Tell us what you bought. This week, I have to think about this. I bought Justice League number 50 something. Is this. I don't know my DC memory. You're gonna have to just give, give us a round up of what's happening. Justice League is it's the end of the current arc where they're fighting Dark Side and they're fighting the Anti Monitor. Okay. Do you know these things? I you don't, don't, don't know the Dark Side. Is that when they fought in BBS or is that Doomsday? That was Doomsday. Well, technically it wasn't. It was Doomsday. That's where they're going for. Dark Side's like the big bad in the DC universe. He's like oh the yeah, big. he's like their their Thanos. Yeah, Thanos is there. There's like Thanos. well, they're all the way around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm not yeah. standing for that. I hate Thanos. Yeah. He's terrible. Just terrible. I'm not excited for Infinity War at all. <sighs> yeah, but that's like a different thing. Like, there's going to be a decent boss fight for a change. Well, maybe there's been pretty good boss fights recently. Like who? Iron Man's a good boss fight. Uh, I suppose I. Yeah. Uh, Are we doing films as well as comics? I think we can just talk in general, now. But um, how good does Civil War be? Civil War is pretty good. Certainly. It was better than the comic. Civil War. I don't know. It's been a while since I've read like actual Civil War, but like Sorry. it's first, a Mark Miller comic, so it's got a bit of stigma there. Uh, it's the first. Uh, I got something to say with Mark Miller. Mm-hmm. We'll come to that. It was Comes the first. Mark Miller, everyone. It was the first trade I ever bought. Yeah, it was about that. Well, for no, me it was the one. first mate, like like big two trade I ever bought. Well, the first trades I bought were Hellboy trades from Waterstones, and like the chained coffin and like. The origin of Hellboy issues and stuff. I've read any Hellboy yet. Hellboy's great. I really want to. I like it. Mangoa is an incredible artist. I like his art, yeah. Like, I've got, I don't I've know got the uh, Alien Celebration. Yeah. That's really it's good. It's that, but Hellboy. Yeah, I like that. It's really good. Yeah. He's looking at the camera to reassure you on We're still here, you know. We're still we're just part of the family, you know. They can see me. They can see you. Because we're kind of propping it up with a box. We're right propping it up with a box, yeah. which I feel quite happy about. Yeah. Because I did that. Nothing but quality here. Nothing but quality. Nothing but quality. Box related quality. Yeah. Anyway, Justice League was good. Okay. It's it's been like a quality run, like Justice League the comics actually be a bit wibbly, like from now and like to then, but specifically this run's been good, it's been kind of Wonder Woman focused because it's like, oh we're gods and there's these new gods and And is this like all tied in with the rebirth? It it ties into rebirth in the end. There was like characters involved, uh, spoilers for comics that came out on Wednesday, like normally that'd be a big thing, I guess, for me, but apparently spoilers on the internet are like a day old and then it's fine. 
Uh, Owl Man. Do you know Owl Man? I heard of him. Owl Man gets into the Mobius chair, which is a chair that uh, I forget Metron. I forget which god has it, but it's like a god chair that lets you see everything. I vaguely remember that. He, he steals that, and then it looks like, oh, we're setting up the next big arc. Where where is he going with this? Like Owl Man, evil Batman, basically loosing the cosmos with infinite power, and then he gets splatted by Doctor Manhattan. What? Spoiler. Spoiler. Like, I, I, we'll put spoiler. it in the start. We'll say the well, you, left, you left that. You, you totally ruined it for me. I was going to say which leaves are uh, opening for an owl based hero. Who could possibly be? I didn't doubt that. It's, too late. it's too late. It's uh, too late. Watchmen Manhattan. has come to DC. It has come to DC. Everybody knows. It's, it's, it's yeah. a thing. Yeah, but they don't know. They know. They look, at know. Them. look at them with their little beady red eye. Yeah. They know. They know. They know. They know. Rebirth happened, basically. And that's why I started with Watchmen. Because, well, I started with. I'm going to call it Avengers. That's why I started with Justice League, because it kind of ser- like semi-led into it. Mm. Uh, Superman dies at some point, not in Rebirth. Which one? Um, beard or no beard? No beard Superman. So not the good one. I like New 52 Superman. He's had some good stuff done. Yeah, but one controversially of my, like one of my favorite comic. It is controversial, but one of my favorite comics is a Grant Morrison action comics run issue where he like turns up on Mars and he saves everybody. And even though it goes badly in the end, because it's like an ongoing story thing, he, it's very much like Superman can totally just save everyone. And like, did you read Superman Unchained at all? No, I haven't read any. I know you've not read any Superman. You're just asking rhetorical questions to the camera. <laughs> Superman Unchained was uh, it was kind of the tie-in to Man of Steel. Like, it wasn't a tie-in in the sense it tied into the universe, but it was like we're putting out a new Superman book with big talent because there's a like a Superman film out. Aye. And the first thing that happened in Superman Unchained was Superman saving people from like a collapsing building and making a point to say that Superman saves people and that he, every single oh second of his day is spent thinking about how to save people and how to stop people dying in a situation where buildings are collapsing. So it was great. Like it was total just like, aye, so we totally saw Man of Steel and that wasn't Superman, so... That was some Superman-like character. I liked Man of Steel. Up until that point? Uh, up until the neck snap in Man of Steel. I like Man of Steel. And even after that, I didn't necessarily mind it. And that city destruction that was in Man of Steel is dumb. That's, see, that would have been fine if... I don't know if it would have ever been no, fine. No, no, no. It would have been fine uh-huh. if... And this is, you know, my big bugbear with comics in general. Mm-hmm. There was consequences of it. Which there wasn't. <laughs> well, that's the other thing. One of the other painful, painful things of Man of S- Batman vs Superman was that the, the early trailers made it look like Superman was being made to answer for the destruction he caused in Metropolis. Which was like, would be a really good plot point. It was edited in with like Batman running through the city and like trying to save people with like all oh, this god that's come to us, he has to answer. That opening scene, by the way, that was really good, I liked that. I liked it. I, no, I thought it was great. I thought it was, it great. was a good Batman it was, scene. Yeah, it was like, great. It was. Yeah, just really. Everything after that, though. If you want to know more about pain, there we'll is do a video, video at some point. We'll do, we'll do a I'll have to video like on. write, yeah, I'll we'll have to like write an essay and bullet point it because <laughs> it's too much for you to bear. It is. Yeah. It just is. It would be different, different perspectives because you, as a DC fan, get your thoughts. I'm a DC Me fan. Me, as a comics fan, mm-hmm. and more of an image guy, and it, it I could just... probably think about it more outside. Like I was saying in one of the other videos that we just did today. 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 I've changed, by the way. He has changed. Uh, he's the, Batman. Yeah, Batman. I felt it was more appropriate. Plus, I haven't changed. Plus, this. I had to put some actual clothes on because I got to go to work in like. Oh, yeah, you're working. Yeah, like five hours. You shouldn't tell people that. They'll find us fascinating. They'll find you. I'll end my suffering. They'll find out where you're drinking and they'll assassinate you. I'll end my suffering. It's fine. <sighs> what was I saying? Batman and Superman. Even if like you strip everything away from Batman and Superman, even if you take away like, oh, I don't like this because I'm a fan of like classic Superman stuff, or I don't think Batman should kill people, or like I'm not a fan of like multiple hero. Or I like that. I like multiple flashbacks. I like yeah, when the Flash he, he, just turns up. I like the Flash turning up. Oh, that's that's the Flash just does turn up. That is, that is one of the things the Flash does. The best part is Bruce is just sitting there like, this is fine. He's like, hmm. like this makes sense. Mm. I believe this. this people, well, people coast. can fly, so obviously people can travel back through time to warn us about an event in the apocalypse. And even worse, it doesn't even. Like, that, that's not our problem with DC right now. My point was, before I lose it, okay. this okay. was, even if you strip out all the things that is biased and like your personal preference, that's still a bad film. Yeah. Like, it's still a terribly made, I've spilt some iron brew. Phil, so my favorite bars means it. Bars. bars, get on it, lads. Get on it, Sterling boys. We will advertise you every minute of every day. I'll put it down. We know you can make that by the gap. We're Just not asking some much. Veins. Just get us some, and we'll take care of the rest. Corporate shills. Corporate shills. Like day, Happily. day one. Happily. Vi- video one. 
of comics. We're not even talking about comics anymore, we're talking about like bars. It's preamble, you know. It's, it's mid-amble. Mid-amble. Um, so yeah, bad film, basically. It's a bad film, but we'll talk about that. Well, right, right, I'll, I'll leave my points for it. I, I, I've only talked about just like, All we've got to do is just scribble that out and put film, and we, then we're sorted. Exactly. Well, sorry, that's enough of that. We can edit it in post. We don't know how to do that yet. Well, we can. We just can't get the video files to it there. So it's we're a bad tablet. We're going to have an awkward point at the end of the video where you're going to have to get up, walk around, and stop the video. Well, you can, you can like, talk, and like I'll just, like, sleuth away, yeah. and it'll be focused on you, and they won't know. They will. Anyway, so what other comics did you buy? Oh, I got Rebirth, number one, which is DC's big, like... Not push. Reboot. Not Reboot, which I was absolutely shocked by, because it, well, it wasn't... It's advertised as a reboot. It's advertised as a reboot, and... Because it's got Rebirth in the title alone. Yeah, basically, and it's kind of your assumption that it'd be a reboot. It's been five years, they want to get rid of the new 52, because it's mostly been not great. Having said that, I haven't bought the vast majority of it. Like, I have 52 issues of The Flash and 52 issues of Green Lantern, and Green Lantern has been terrible. And, like, I have 52 issues of Justice League and Superman. You should have 52 issues of all... They mean, like, the universe should be actually on 52 well, I, number. I have more than that, but specifically the new 52. Aye. They're ending at issue 52 for all of them. There was only one, yeah? Yeah, well, there's only one a month, so... Yeah, I thought if the new 52 was running for a few years. Five years. Wait, no, wait. Oh, wait, no, that makes sense. I, I'm, for some reason, I think there's like 30 months in a year. There'll be more than some, because like, some of them are weekly, like Batman Eternal, although that only got to like 52, because it's 52, because it's a year. But the, the point is, I have quite a lot of it. I have Aquaman, I have Action Comics, Detective Comics. I bought a lot of the new 52. A lot of it was kind of meh to just, terrible. Just something you'd have to buy because of contractual obligation. Basically because of Matt. Yeah. Which is comics. Yeah. Basic. Be honest. So how was Rebirth? Rebirth was great. Only like, it was an it was an interesting journey because I was looking forward to Rebirth because it's like DC gets a lot of like hate because it's a thing that exists and also because of Batman Superman and this was very much them kind of advertised it ahead of time as being like we're going back to like lighter and happier golden age. Not necessarily golden age. Well, no, because maybe shouldn't be tiny Superman to his hand. <laughs> that was Silver Age, probably. Yeah, probably. But like not necessarily a specific age, but a specific like you know you want like warmth and happiness back in comics because that's not yeah. necessarily what apart from Batman. Batman, even then, there's been fun Batman. Mm. And that's not probably what sells for Batman, but like, Batman has been fun, like, through the New 52. Like, Zack Snyder's, not Zack Snyder, that'll be the mistake I make forever. Scott Snyder's Batman run has been well, great. Having read Court of Wells, yeah, exactly. I, I did quite like that. Yeah, it, I mean, I feel like it didn't fully pull it pan out as it could have, well, but as, as a arc, it was pretty good. Court of Wells leads into Death of the Family, I think. I forget what the second one is, but like, the second one is uh, the Joker targeting all of the Bat family, and then, yeah. af- and then after that it's uh, Batman's origin again, but during like a city-wide blackout caused by the Riddler. Didn't you say that we're going to have a Joker, like three Jokers? Three Jokers is the something one of the things that comes up from Rebirth, because Batman, like I said, was on that god's chair, yeah. and he knew all the answers to everything, and the answer for who was Is that what that image you see in the internet now of like, like Batman asking the Joker's name, is it, no, it can't be, it's impossible. Well, what did the Joker's name turn out to be, or did it never tell you? Uh, Joker's origin's always changing, I don't know anything. Because I think like, that was a thing in the, in the I'm not a big fan of the Joker, I've never looked into what he is or why he is, he's just a clown guy. Just Mark Hamill. He's Mark Hamill. Uh, I like Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill is, yeah. Best yeah. Joker, I'd say. I quite like the 60s Joker. I like that moustache that he didn't shave. That's a good Joker. But... Moustache. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to go over there and check that the video is still going on. Yeah, that's... I'm slightly yeah. paranoid. You keep talking at me. Okay. Uh, I feel like there's not any points that you can confirm it's going. Um... Yeah, it's still going. You got enough battery to... to it says battery on. low, but that's fine. That is fine, we'll keep going. It'll, it'll cut off naturally, you know? Like, how long do we get? Uh, we, so we've only done t- two comics. We've got 14 minutes, and 19 well, seconds of com- content still on the go. We're going to have to be quick then. Well, we can just keep talking. Hi. Hi. Rebirth was good. I would advise getting Rebirth. Although, you don't, it's kind of like you need to know what the universe was before the New 52, and what the New 52 is. So it's not a jumping on point? No. It is and it isn't. Okay. It's a jumping back on point for people like who didn't like the new 52. They're trying to get back the old fans. Exactly. And that's probably the case. It's probably they're trying to get back older fans than new fans. With that specific issue, we'll see what the actual issues of normal comics bring. They seem like the actual jumping on points. 
Okay. Because uh, Rebirth itself is just like, do you remember Wally West? Do you remember Wally West, new comic book reader? From from a specific old universe? No. No. But do you know that like Superman's a cool guy? I mean, yeah, I like his beard. Well, you might want to buy that Superman comic that's out next week, probably. Wally West is uh, was the... Uh, one of the Flashes. One of the Flashes after Barry Allen. And the plot of Rebirth is he... He's one of the fan favorite characters that people wanted back, and that DC were always like, "Oh, we'll do something with Wally West or no comment," and this is them finally doing it. And it feels a wee bit not like earned, but still, they're still doing it. And there's like a lot of like him. He like he's trapped in the Speed Force. He's like a Force ghost, trying to like get back into the universe because he knows it's been changed by somebody. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But like. That won't matter for the actual issues of comics that come out after Rebirth, because they'll just be like, we've changed the tone, and like it's a new jumping on point, new number one with a new supporting cast, and like Superwoman is a thing, and Supergirl's a thing, because you know that Supergirl show, and you know that Flash show, and you know that Green Arrow show. I know that there, that's another point I was going to make when we're talking about the films. Mm-hmm. Um, DC really is trying to find a way to consolidate their They have a way of doing that, because like, the Flash uh, show... Well, into the cinematic universe, because well, it feels like a waste but they, they have like a multiversal thing that is one of the things DC does really well. Yeah. Okay. And they could easily say that that's like, one of the universes, but they won't, because that like invalidates it being like, no, this is the main thing, and this is this is what we're bankrolling, and what, what everything should be. Well, it's very rare that you say you enjoyed something, um, mm-hmm. so I'd say Rebirth was a get if you're a Rebirth is a plus. I mean, it's not necessarily needed if you don't want it, but you'd know if you want it or not. So, what did you get? I got... I didn't get Captain America this week. Oh. Captain I'm America. I'm sure you all know what's happening there, so... Ye- Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. Uh, so, what what stance are you taking on this? Like, why have they done this? Uh, to make money. Right. Um, as, as I pointed out to you in the comic shop the other day... Marvel are the best. They're the at, absolute best. At stealing thunder. Stealing thunder, because they just scooped under DC's, like, rebirth. Like, no like, one's talking about the fact that Dr. Van Hans and Rebirth are No, like, we, Everyone's we didn't talking, even talk about it. We, we didn't just even mention it. it. Yeah, we just mentioned That's it. That's the thing that happens. Like, no one, no one really cared. Like, I would care if it wasn't for the fact that they've got a splash page of Captain America. I saw a thing. Hydra in. Ma- I saw a thing today. It's Mom Martha, probably. It's not Martha. It's Martha. <laughs> Uh, getting a wee pam- did you see the pamphlet she got? I yeah. thought it was great. Like concerned citizens welcome to our super secret Nazi death cult oh, I didn't see that. in America. The thing is, oh, I'm sure that comic's fine. And I'm sure it's well written and I'm sure it ties into things that have been set up before in that writer's run or the current Marvel status quo. Well, I famously don't read DC or Marvel. So exactly. This is probably one of the things that put people off, like reading Marvel and DC. Yeah, as as I as I ranted about all that time, like I don't read it because I just know this is either gonna be A Stupid, mm-hmm. like not fun. Stupid, just stupid. Or B, a complete waste of time. It's a it's a number one issue, so it needs like a hook. And this is a dumb hook, but it's a hook. It's and it'll probably I thought, isn't the whole fact that they're they're bringing back Captain America again. Mm-hmm. A hook. Well, he became old, and I don't know how that happened because I've not really kept up with Marvel events or Captain America in general. But he's now younger again, and he's Captain America at the same time that Falcon Cap mm-hmm. or Captain Falcon and Lady Captain from twenty ninety nine or whatever. Is she about? I well, I saw the front page of Spider-Man 2099. Was it Spider-Man 2099 or was that like uh, no, it was Daredevil 20, No, it was Spider-Man 2099. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. I'm not up to date on Spider-Man, but I will bring up in the context of this Captain America thing, because it's good hate work, is what Marvel does. Yeah. Marvel writes comics for you to hate because they know that you'll buy them, or at the very least know that you'll tweet about them. Yeah, you'll talk about them. You'll it. talk about them and yeah. you'll generate that controversy for Absol- them. They're absolutely I have read marketing. every single issue of Dan Slott's current Spider-Man run, and that is a comic made for people to hate. Because <laughs> you love Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I enjoyed that what year or two year run where Spider-Man was actually Doc Ock being Spider-Man and killing Spider-Man's soul off multiple times. I, see, I thought that was a great idea. They stuck to it. It's not. It's, it's really dumb no, and I mad. Think it's, I think and it's great. I think it's the, great. The 